Air core reactors are electrical components designed to provide a linear response of impedance versus current. This characteristic is crucial for various applications in the field of electrical engineering. Unlike their iron core counterparts, air core reactors do not have a magnetic core. Instead, they rely on the interaction of electromagnetic fields within their coil windings. Dry type design The term dry type refers to the construction of these reactors. Some key features are Maintenance free, dry type ACRs require minimal maintenance, making them convenient for long term use. Environmentally friendly, their design avoids the use of oil or other insulating materials, making them environmentally conscious. Easy installation, dry type reactors are straightforward to install, making them suitable for various applications. ACR provide a linear response of impedance versus current which is essential for numerous applications. The dry type design is maintenance free and environmentally friendly. Key benefits are high mechanical strength to withstand elevated short circuit forces, low noise level for noise sensitive applications, conservative temperature rise for ex extended service life, customized space saving solutions for installations in compact areas, surface treatment for protection against UV radiation and pollution, minimum maintenance requirements and environmentally friendly. Applications of air core reactors, let's explore some specific applications where air core reactors shine. Current limiting, ACRs are series connected to transmission lines or feeders. They limit the current during system fault conditions, ensuring compatibility with protection equipment. This cost-effective solution avoids the need for extensive upgrades when short-circuit power increases. Neutral earthing reactors, connected between the neutral of a power system and earth, these reactors limit line-to-earth current during system earth fault conditions. Harmonic filter reactors used alongside capacitors and resistors in filter circuits, they reduce harmonic content in the network. This helps mitigate losses, high neutral currents, and interference with sensitive equipment. Shunt reactors compensate for capacitive currents in long transmission lines, allowing more active energy to flow through the system. Damping reactors limit inrush and outrush currents in capacitor banks. Discharge reactors, used in bypass discharge circuits for series compensation systems, they control capacitor discharge currents. Arc furnace series reactors, correct power factor and limit unstable arc furnace currents and voltages. Power flow control reactors, regulate current in parallel circuits. Motor starting reactors, connected in series with motors to limit inrush current during motor startup. Other key benefits are high mechanical strength, ACRs withstand elevated short circuit forces. Low noise level suitable for noise sensitive appli applications. Conservative temperature rise ensures extended service life. Customized space saving solutions ideal for compact installations. Surface treatment protects against UV radiation and pollution. Air core reactors play a vital role in maintaining stable electrical systems, and their dry type design offers reliability and efficiency. Cost effective solutions, broad range of cost effective solutions including current limiting reactors, designed to limit the fault currents to levels compatible with existing protection control equipment and as a result provide for a very cost effective solution. Neutral earthing reactors, connected between the neutral of a power system and earth to limit the line to earth current to a desired value under system earth fault conditions. Harmonic filter reactors, usually connected with capacitors and resistors in filter circuits to reduce harmonic content in the network which cause higher losses, high neutral currents and interference with computers and telecommunications equipment and which are responsible for high harmonic distortion levels. Smoothing reactors, reduce the harmonic currents and transient over currents ripple in direct current DC systems. Shunt reactors, compensate for the capacitive currents of long transmission lines or cables, allowing more active energy to pass through the system. Damping reactors, limit the inrush and outrush currents of capacitor banks. Special applications test lab reactors are special ACRs used in test laboratories, mainly for current limiting purposes. Additional special applications include duplex current limiting reactors, split phase shunt or zero tolerance reactors. Inducing energy with success air core reactor applications current limiting, this reactor is series connected to the transmission line or to the feeder to limit the current under system fault conditions to levels compatible with the protection equipment of the circuit. Circuit.
It is a very cost-effective solution, eliminating the need to upgrade the entire switching and protection system when the short-circuit power of the system is increased. This reactor is designed to provide specified impedance and to withstand the rated and fault short time currents during a specified period of time. Neutral earthing, the single phase reactor is used to ground the neutral point of three phase networks to limit the current in the event of a fault between phase and ground. If the circuit is perfectly balanced, the resulting current flow through the reactor will be zero and there will be no losses. Harmonic filtering, the harmonic currents are distortions introduced to the network as a result of the operation of power electronics devices, large inductive machines, etc. These harmonic currents create several network problems, such as greater losses, malfunctioning control systems, high neutral currents, interference with computers, interference with telecommunications equipment. Most utilities impose high fees when a certain harmonic distortion level HDL threshold is reached. Harmonic filter reactors, in association with capacitor units and occasionally resistors, create a filter circuit tuned to a certain frequency resonance frequency so as to reduce, block or provide a low impedance path for the harmonic currents in the audio frequency range. They are connected either in a parallel or in a series configuration. Harmonic filters are typically installed in substations, in static VAR compensators SVCs and in HVDC links. The reactors are designed to meet specific design criteria such as quality factor, tolerance of the inductance between phases and of the reactor itself. Special low Q factor requirements can be met using an integrated damping circuit. Static VAR compensation SVC applications are used to provide dynamic voltage stabilization, improve synchronous stability and operate as steady state voltage support. The SVC can also be required for dynamic load balancing in industrial installations using large electrical motors and other equipment with variable loads. Typical applications include steel works, steel mills, cranes, arc furnaces, paper mills, mining companies, etc. An SVC normally consists of a combination of thyristor controlled reactors TCR, thyristor switched capacitors, reactors TSC and TSR, mechanically switched capacitor banks, harmonic filters HF. Damping reactor, this reactor is series connected with one or more capacitor banks to limit the inrush currents that occur during their switching operation. It is designed to offer a specified impedance and to withstand the rated current and the fault current in the event of a short circuit associated with a high frequency discharge current of the capacitor bank. Arc furnace series reactors, the arc furnace series reactor is connected in series with the electrodes of an arc furnace used to smelt metals iron, steel, aluminum, etc. It provides the necessary power, power factor correction and limits the very unstable arc furnace current and voltage flicker, especially during the melting process. Its winding has a high mechanical strength to withstand the forces caused by the fast switching operations of the electrical arc and the high harmonic currents which are inherent to the electrical arc. Motor starting, the reactor is series connected with a motor to limit the inrush current during the motor starting operation. After startup, the reactor is typically bypassed to limit losses in continuous operation. The reactor can be dimensioned to be short circuit proof or not. Test laboratories often require versatile reactors with taps to adjust the inductance value as well as flexible links to connect the reactor in parallel or in series according to test requirements. Usually, the rated current value is low, and the BIL or the short time current is high. Duplex current limiting reactors produce a low reactance under normal conditions and high reactance under fault conditions, with the advantage of a low voltage drop under normal conditions. This type of reactor can be used in systems which always remain isolated. Split phase shunt reactors depending on the required rating, ratings, shunt reactors can be manufactured with split phase design to provide sufficient sensitivity in detecting turn to turn faults. In this case, unbalanced currents between two windings of the reactor can be informed for settings of the protection relays. Zero tolerance reactors, it is possible to use a split phase arrangement two vertically installed part coils if the inductance tolerance requirement is zero zero. The inductance is set at nominal value by adjusting the spacing of the part coils. Air core reactor design reactor windings consist of numerous aluminum or copper conductors connected in parallel. These conductors can be insulated single wires, insulated cables or aluminum profiles separated by fiberglass spacers. The cost-effective solution to be selected, in terms of dimensions and conductor type to be used in each design, depends on the required ratings for the equipment.
Accessories Corona rings When it is necessary to eliminate visible corona, reactors are provided with corona rings made from aluminum tubes. Bird barriers provided the reactors with bird barriers. The bird barriers consist of a temperature and UV resistant fiberglass reinforced plastic grid with square shaped openings. The bird barrier does not adversely affect the cooling of the reactor. Insulators provided all the necessary support insulators for the reactors. Pedestals The pedestals provided with reactors maintain the magnetic and electrical clearances required by the reactor design to minimize induced losses. Enclosures design and supply reactors with enclosures. Tapping reactors can be supplied with tapings for presetable inductance. Cost-effective solutions installation location reactors are suitable for either indoor or outdoor installation. Reactors are often installed in existing substations or installed to replace existing reactors. The reactors are designed to fit within space limitations or to be mounted directly onto the existing foundations. They are also designed for use inside enclosures. In this case, the reactors are designed to avoid excessive heating. Mounting arrangement reactors can be mounted individually as single-phase units, side-by-side, -side, or as three-phase stacks, one coil on top of the other. Special mounting arrangements can also be provided in case of space limitations. Terminal orientation and hole patterns reactors are supplied with NEMA or IEC flat pad aluminum or copper terminals.